Today we will discuss an important feature in Blender that deals with the sharpness or the smoothness of an edge while editing any model. In the edit mode, you'll often see some blue lines like this. These are called sharp edges. So we'll also discuss how to use them and when to use them in this quick tutorial. We know that Blender objects are made of flat faces. Even if an object looks round, it is always made of such small parts that are flat. But it does not look good, so we have a feature in Blender called Shade Smooth, which is here. It will make the object look smooth, but it is only a visual effect. It does not change the actual geometry. When we render this scene, we'll get a smooth ball. And if we want to get back the original flat look, we can use this Shade Flat option. But this simple method does not work always, as we'll now see with a cylinder object. It is also made of some flat, rectangular faces, and it looks bad with a flat shading. So let's try to make it look smooth by using the same Shade Smooth option. We can see that the wall of the cylinder is made perfectly smooth, but there is a problem in this area. It has ruined the two flat ends of the cylinder, which looks bad. This is quite common, and there are two ways to solve this issue. First, go to the edit mode and enable the edge selection. Deselect everything and select these edges together at the top end. Or you can use a shortcut, switch over to the face selection mode, select this top face, and then again switch back to the edge selection. Now you'll get all these edges already selected together. Then go to the edge menu and select the option called Mark Sharp. It will mark all the selected edges as sharp and they will be highlighted in blue. These edges will be excluded when we apply any kind of smooth function to the cylinder. So if we now apply the Shade Smooth function like before, the top surface of the cylinder won't be affected, but we'll see that the wall or the vertical sides of the cylinder are made perfectly smooth. This is one way to make your model look good, and it needs you to mark the sharp edges manually for your model. Now we will discuss the second method, so let's again go to the edit mode. Select everything, and from the edge menu, this time select the option called Clear Sharp. So the sharp indicators and the blue colors will be removed for your model. Then back to the object mode, we will use a different function, which is Shade Auto Smooth. It will add a modifier at the end of your modifier stack with an angle value. This angle determines the minimum angle between the edges, which will be excluded in the Smooth function. If we want to exclude all the edges, we can change this angle to zero, which will give us a completely flat shading. And on the other hand, if we change it to 180, it will use smooth shading for all the edges, just like the simple Shade Smooth option. But if we use a value in between, say, 60, it will affect only few edges, like the edges at the top are excluded from smooth shading this time, and no distortions are visible. But sometimes you may need to use both these methods together for a fine control. Like for this model, in the edit mode, we can see that some specific edges are marked as sharp edges, and the edges at the end of the lens are also marked as sharp. We learned that these sharp edges will be completely excluded when we apply a Shade Smooth function. So we can enable Shade Auto Smooth for this, to get an overall smooth shading effect, but these sharp edges will be excluded. It helps us to retain the sharpness for the specific parts, and the smoothness in the other parts will depend on the value of this angle. So if we change this angle to say 60, we will get a slightly different look for the shading effect. Or we can go on a full scale using the Shade Smooth option. It does make a difference in the smooth parts, but the sharp edges are still kept as sharp, so whatever we mark as sharp, are not affected by any kind of smooth shading. This is basically how you can mix sharp edges with smooth edges for the desired look of your model. Let's also verify this in the rendered view mode. We'll first remove all these sharp edges and verify the result in real time. So go to the edit mode and select all the edges. Then from the edge menu, let's select the clear sharp option. Now we can see that the lens corner is kind of bulged out and the sharp edges are no longer sharp. They look hammered down under smooth shading. So smooth shading is not always good in every situation, and we need something selective. Let's go back to the edit mode and undo the changes in order to get back our sharp edges. We can see those blue lines back, and the rendered view is now very clear, no more hammering down or the bulginess. And this is how we can use the Shade Smooth, Auto Shade Smooth, and the sharp edges together for the best results. So I hope you like this tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.